Hello everyone, this is Pastrami Man, and welcome to the first episode of Reviewing My Shelf. Now, Reviewing My Shelf is basically uh, me reviewing every Godzilla or Kong figure that's on my shelf. In order. So, this is the first one I ever got. I was like five years old, and it's still, still probably mint condition. These things aren't that detailed or well sculpted. And, uh, you can see there is, it actually isn't that badly sculpted. Just like a little plain, it's like a little smooth, a little too smooth. So, the jaw's kind of broken. You really gotta, like, force it into the skull if you want it to close. And, uh, the waist moves a little, but that's a feature. Uh, the arm, the arms dangle, and uh, the upper arm moves like that. Okay. And uh, there's a there's leg movement right there, only a little bit, and that's the action feature right there. Uh, the three horns, you could uh, you could use that to move the upper the upper torso. That's pretty cool. That's 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 alright. And if you move the sculpture around, it's like pretty pretty nice, I guess. It's like a great toy for children. No, I wouldn't recommend it to collectors who want to display it though. It doesn't really have that many poses. And it's about uh, a little a little above six inches. It's like six and a half. It's quite tall. And as I said, there aren't many poses you can get it into. It's it's very limited in art articulation, so it's it's very it's very much a children's toy, and it animates uh, pretty okay, but not that good, as you can see here. I'm using a different mic for this one, but uh, I'm I'm sorry, but I just wanted to say that uh, shout out to Blunt Brothers or Blunt Brothers or Blair Brothers. I don't know how you say it, but they make actually good content. Like, they do, like, reactions and videos. I mean, 46 subscribers, too. They even have a song that's actually good. I don't know how you do that. It's cool. Uh, that's it. Alright, bye.